Hey everybody, this is Vash. So today we're looking back at the screen tearing issue. I have had that issue return. Um, the initial change of setting it to be uh, to not allow flipping uh, right here to unchecking that that seemed to help a little bit, but I was still having some screen tearing issues when I was using the full screen view. I've been mostly focusing on using the um, the option to capture specific windows. And that kind of works, but it also makes it a little inconvenient sometimes to try to switch windows because of the way uh, OBS captures your window. And even if you minimize the window, it is still always on the top if you have it set on the top, which makes makes sense, but it uh, can be a little frustrating. So the way I found out how to do this was actually a hint from Eric Adams. Uh, he had sent over a screenshot over here in the advanced settings. So you go to X server display configuration, click on the display. And then click advanced. And down here you go full force full uh composition or yeah, full composition pipeline. I went ahead and did that on both monitors. Um I'm gonna have to see if maybe I can just use one of them because I mostly record on my secondary monitor here. I don't I often use the uh primary one for my focus on the OBS studio setup. So uh once you've done that. You have to do this save a configuration file. I could I could get it to apply for a session, and maybe you're just worried about it for that particular session, and that may make sense. But if you're wanting that setting to stick, I believe you have to save a configuration file. So you click this button. It asks you where you want to save. I would probably just start off saving it in your um, saving it in you know your documents or something like that, your your home folder, and going from there. So. I wanted to figure out where to copy this from, or where to copy this to, rather. And this is where it's saying to save it. Let me, so we got a better look at this. I'm gonna link to this in the description, but um, this is where they're talking about going in and saving it as 20 NVIDIA config, and then copying that to this etc.x11xwork.conf.d. And um, the easiest way to do that would be to CP that. Here we go. So sudo cp, and then copy, and then that way. And they, yeah, he's corrected the command here. At first, there was an issue with the command, but that's what you want to do. You want to, you want to use this right here, sudo cp, and then your 20 Nvidia. It's easiest just to go to the folder uh, in Dolphin. You just go to the folder you have it in, press F4, and then you type this command. You're already in there. Otherwise, you'll have to go to your, you have to cd into the folder you have the original file in, and then copy it over with this. But that is the way to do that. And once you've done that, those settings will persist across reboots. Otherwise, if you don't, the settings will only apply per session and you'd have to reset them every time. And again, if this is not something where you're going to be recording very often, it may be worth just not worrying about the, the save. But if you're doing any other kind of settings changes, then you will need to do that. And, uh, but once you quit, it'll ask you if you want to quit and you're fine with that. If, um, if you have a setting here that's going to be applied, which, by the way, once you change that setting, you just hit apply. I can't do it because I haven't changed anything. But once you've changed that, just hit apply. And then you want to save. Um, you just want to make sure that it comes through and it's still working correctly after you do that. But um, if you if you try to exit without it, it'll say something like, um, the following settings have been applied. Do you want to discard them or something? And and when you when you click exit, and it'll say that instead. But um, now that I've saved the, X, the X11, or uh, I'm sorry, the uh, the config file there, nvidia config it's uh it's it's fine so that is that and uh hopefully this will get our screen tearing issues good gone for good um again i i have noticed this much better since since i've done this um but it it kind of worked before and i did get it you know that video recorded with without screen tearing but for some reason after that it's acted up since well, hopefully this is helpful thanks for watching everybody